G'day, Stu here. It's been a little while since I've made a video. That's basically just been because I've been flat out, so. Uh, still on the farm, still, yeah, packing onions and stuff at the moment, so. I did film a little bit of stuff that I will edit up in the future, but I just uh, made a little bit of a purchase for the family, and I thought I might just share it with you and uh, show you what I think of it. So, here is. The uh, Maverick Ranger Limited Camper Trailer. I'm just doing a bit of, I suppose, setting up, getting things into the places and stuff like that, so. Anyway, so the reason we've gone for this one, uh, we've been looking at camper trailers for years, so we just never actually pulled the trigger on one, just trying to find what we actually wanted and what would suit us, and the kid's a bit older now. We were using my father's caravan. So we're finding that the caravan's just getting a bit, uh, a bit cramped for us, and we want to get off the beaten track a bit more, so we've got an Oz tent. So the idea is that we run this as a bit of a, I suppose, seating, seating area and me and uh, the wife will sleep in this and the kids will sleep in the Oz tent. So we should be able to get off the beaten track a bit more and uh, get into places where we want to go. So that's the plan. Would have loved to have bought an Australian made one, but just simply couldn't afford it. So this is what we could afford for the budget and this was the best one we sort of, we found that would suit us for, you know, in this sort of style of campus. This is gonna be a quick little walk around and my initial thoughts, I suppose. So, first thing I've noticed, sets up really well. Um, most of the welding and everything on it looks really good. So, single piece chassis, which I was sort of, I like that idea. I know everyone's got their own opinion, but I really like the idea of just having one piece of steel right through. Uh, full off-road, recovery points, it's spare wheel, all the usual stuff. So this, the forward fold, so it's got a seating area or a second bed, which is, we sort of wanted that because one of our kids is still fairly young and we thought if he doesn't want to sleep in the tent with the brothers, he can sleep in here. Right, uh, I, I found it's really well set up. Right. Gives you your water tanks, all your options like all your turn on the fridge site circuit, turn on all the power outlets, turn on the lights, and then your water pumps. It's two tanks. And in here, you have, yeah, flick that. massive kitchen like this is a decent sized kitchen like so you've got your water your sink there which has hot and cold running water when you plug it all in and plumb it and everything this folds right over as a work as a bench and then that's your cooktop so yeah very well appointed so take inside, so you got little steps that fold up with the door. I know some of them have a, a door here instead of canvas comes down and doesn't really matter, I don't think. Anyway, in here, so first thing you got is some switches, lights, radio. Under the, each of these chairs, you've got, well, an access panel really because you don't really have a lot of storage room in there with all the accessories and stuff that's on here there's your pole guide that's going to be interesting stick that down there right so you got a table which that folds up and turns and then you put all the pillows down and it becomes a, another bed yeah an access panel there to the rear toolbox so 
I suppose if you want something that you've got to get to or you're inside, that'd be a good place to put it. This is another sort of storage box thing that I'm looking at whether I can fit a diesel, diesel heater in there for the cold nights. Usually when we go away, it's fairly cold, so I sort of need that heating. Uh, so what I mean, there's just bits of uh, stuff everywhere. So yeah, this is the main bed. It's fairly hard, so we're going to try and put a topper on it and see if that's enough to make it all right. One thing I've noticed that I'm not a big fan of, over here, you've got a switch to turn that light off, right? But that switch doesn't turn off that light. But if you turn that light off at the switch down the bottom, it turns that light off. So what I've just sort of found is either it would be nice if it had a it'd be nice if it had an inline switch in that light as well as that light. But what we found is we just get here and just unplug that one. So we might just have to unplug that one when we go on a bed so that we can turn that one off from the switch. Just a little thing I've noticed, so yeah, just showing you what I noticed. Um, another thing I've noticed, a few of the wiring connections like behind this radio are not that flash. See here, I've actually pulled the cover off there because I couldn't get that to clip together just to see if I could get them to join. So they're just, they're just not real good quality connectors. So that's all right, we can fix that. We, uh, it's only a wire connector, it's not like a big deal to me. Some people might get all fancy about it, but it's just a wire connector. So as long as it's doing its job, we're good. I just don't want them to vibrate and fall apart, so. There's not a heap of room inside of these, so if you're buying one of these for space, your real space is outside. It's got a full annex that joins on this side and comes out. Bear in mind, I've only had this for two days. I'm going to have to, uh, you know, get a bit more used to what's going on with it all, and I'm going to have to understand it a bit more. But uh, one thing I did find, the, the legs, the stabiliser legs, the thing that you use to wind it up is really awkward. It's not like the old caravan one where you can just wind it. It's when you sort of had to hold it and then spin one hand over the top all the time in it. So I'm gonna try and, I'm thinking I might just buy a cheap drill with a, a socket so that I can use that to lower them. Because when you got this sort of clearance, you gotta drop those legs down a long way. So yeah. Uh, another thing I've found, I've just been looking at where to put my tank for the diesel heater. And I was found a spot in behind the gas bottle holder here. But I thought I'd better put the gas bottle in there to, to see if it'll fit. And I found that I couldn't get this clip on the gas bottle to do up until I took the rubber padding off the inside of the um, the holder. So I don't know what's going on there, whether it's just been made just that little bit too tight or what, but anyway, I'm gonna have a bit more of a look at it. Now, this side's all massive amount of storage, which you can So there's a heap of storage in there. This is one of the things that, these, these drawers here, that right there is one of the main reasons we bought this camper. Because in the other side, that's your pantry. And you can have full bottles standing up, not laying down. So that was a real winner for us. Um, now, this thing, so it's got a light in there. The only thing I found with this is it's a, it's a sensor rather than a button, so, yeah. You'll be going to get something out of there and you'll not, you'll walk in front of the sensor and it'll turn the light off, so. 
Ça y est. Les gars. So I'm not touching that, that's just... See, I think it would have been easier just to have like one of those push button ones, so when the door comes in it clicked against it, but... Hey, it works, so we just have to be aware that that's there. So anyway, I've got a porta, porta potty, hot water system, lighting kits, and all sorts of stuff that came with it. This one, it even came with a 95 litre fridge, so. Um, the guys at Maverick have been brilliant. Like The guy in Melbourne's been fantastic. He went over it with us when we were picking it up and uh, he noticed the television was a bit, because it came with a TV as well. Oh, it's got a bit of stuff on the television, I'll go and clean it. Then he come back out, I can't clean this off, I'm getting you a new television, so. Okay, so <laughs> I didn't even have to say anything, he just, he just did it, nah. It's not right, not happy with that, I'm gonna replace it for you, so. Yeah, they, they've been really good. They test these a lot, there's, there's been these, these well, this exact style of camp has been on uh, the four-wheel drive 24-7 channel. Um, doing, like, gunshot in Cape York and stuff with it. So, it uh, should handle everything we're going to do because we're not going to do anything crazy like gunshot. We might go to Cape York, but we'll be taking the easy way. So, yeah. So, basically, I only just got it. A couple of little things that... I'm gonna have to sort of play around with and get right, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, once I work out how everything works and stuff, I might do a bit more of a detailed video, but this is just sort of a first impressions thing. So I'll uh, try to get some more farming content going pretty soon. So hopefully our uh, harvest season is just about to die down a bit, so. All right, thanks for uh, watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that rubbish that everyone says. So, cheers, guys. See you on the next one. They fit in there anymore, and we want to go a little bit more off the beaten track. So.